in my previous video I talked about how to uh, generate MySQL database using a script. In this video I'm going to talk about how to run some simple SQL queries using MySQL Workbench. So we are going to use the same database that we created last time and uh, we have a table called customer, we have a table called invoice, we have a table called line, we have a table called product and also we have a table called vendor. So this is the database model and <clears throat> we are using the same database uh, that we used last time. So in the first example, I will show you how to write a SQL statement that will return all columns in the product table. In order to do this, first let me <coughs> launch MySQL Workbench. Okay, when you click on MySQL Workbench icon, you will come up with a screen like this. Then you click on local instance, connect to the database and you will get a screen like this. <clears throat> so we are going to use this <clears throat> uh, database and here are the tables. You can see all the tables here. So first query is we want to select all products from the product table. So we write a query like this, select star from product and <clears throat> when you click on this icon it will execute the query and you can see when I run this query I get the results here so this is the first query which is the select statement. <clears throat> this select star from product will uh, display all the columns. <clears throat> star means you are selecting <clears throat> everything from the product table and you can see all the columns are selected as well as all the records are also displayed. <clears throat> okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to talk about another important concept called column aliases. Basically the idea here is you are giving an alternative name for a column or table in a SQL statement. So if you look at this statement select p underscore code p underscore description as description p under, underscore price as price p underscore score qoh as quantity from product then if you run this query you will notice that the column names will be changed in the output so if i write say select p underscore code p underscore descript as description P underscore price as price I can say price P R I C price P underscore Q O H as from so this is the query and when I run it you will notice that uh, pay attention to the description <clears throat> p underscore descript this is the name of the column in the table but when it, it shows that we have changed from p underscore descript to description also look at the p underscore price is shown uh, as price and p underscore qoh shown as quantity note that <clears throat> the actual table 
in the table, the column names will not change. But when you show the results, the table names will be changed, will be displayed differently. <clears throat> but the, the structure of the table will not change. Uh, in the table structure, the column names will be will remain the same. But when you are showing the results to the user, the name will be changed. This is called column allies. Now I'm going to introduce you to where clause. <clears throat> Basically the where clause filters the rows of data based on provided criteria, on some particular criteria. For example, write a SQL statement that will return description, quantity on hand, price and vendor code for products with a vendor code of 21344. <clears throat> so let me go to SQL Workbench again. What we write is select p underscore <clears throat> descript So basically, <clears throat> this is the query that I wrote. Select P underscore description, P underscore QOH, P underscore price, V underscore code from product where V underscore code is 21344. And if you execute this query, you will get <clears throat> the desired results. Okay, it's a very simple query to demonstrate the where clause. <clears throat> Okay, let's go to the next query. These are called logical operators. So I'm going to give you a simple uh, example using logical operators. <clears throat> and SQL allows you to include multiple conditions in a query through the use of this kind of logical op operators. The first example is OR. <clears throat> so write a SQL statement that will return all of the records in which the vendor code is 21344 OR. 24288. Now I want to also mention that <clears throat> there is another operator called special operator called in. So we can write this query in uh, using or. We can also write the same query using the special operator in and I will show you both. <clears throat> so the first one is select star from vendor <clears throat> select star from vendor where v underscore code equals 21344 or v underscore code equals 242 Eight, eight. So let's run this query <clears throat> and you will get this. <clears throat> there are two rows that were returned. Okay, I'm, I'm going to write the same query uh, using an in operator. So let's. So where V code, instead of this, what I do is in and look at the syntax I put a comma and I put a parenthesis here and I write this <clears throat> I execute the same query but you here I'm using the in operator and I'm also getting the same results okay so this is a very simple example of 
a logical operator. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you another query where it says that <clears throat> write a SQL statement that will return all of the records for which the vendor code is not 21344. Now I'm, I'm going to give you a hint. Here you can use uh, two op operators, either not equal to, you can see how you can use not equal to. So we are going to show you uh, both. So the first one is select p underscore description p underscore description p underscore q o h p underscore price v underscore code from product where v underscore code not equal to 21344 okay so I execute this query first and I get uh, <clears throat> all the products where vendor code is not 21344 now I'm going to show you I'm going to write the same query using uh, the other operator not equal to operator so where v code instead of this I could have written also like this not equal to this and I'll also get the same results I will continue to give you more examples uh, later on in the next video <clears throat>